Welcome to another episode of Raul's World of Sense. I am Raul. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Dofer A125 voltage controlled phase shifter. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about the basics of this module and the features on the front panel and uh, basically just a little bit about phasing as well. Um, primarily this module was designed to process audio with uh, what's an internal comb filter. Um, this filter kind of creates a series of gaps in the frequency range of your sound source. So whatever you pipe in here, you know, whether it's drums or a saw wave or any other kind of signal that you might have, um, is going to be processed using that comb filter. Uh, phasers, for the most part, are known, uh, at least the general phaser, uh, are known for the kind of jet sound effect that you can get from them. And uh, But there are also many other subtle type of effects that you can create with a phaser. Uh, we'll be looking at those a little bit later in some of the other video segments and uh, hearing what they sound like. Uh, now let's take a look at the basic front panel and just kind of go through the different uh, controls that are here in front of us. Uh, starting at the top, you have your audio input. Uh, there's also an attenuator here where you can control how much or how little of that input is going to come into your module. Um, immediately below that, there is a potentiometer that is labeled with shift. Um, this control is going to allow you to manually set the amount of phase shift of your audio signal being fed in there. Uh, next, below that, is our CV input here. This is going to allow for modulation of the shift parameter here. And uh, of course, in standard fashion, for the most part, you have a CV sort of attenuator here that will allow you to control how much of the CV signal that you're feeding in uh, will affect the parameter, and in this case it's shift. Uh, there are a lot of options as far as what you can pipe in here, of course, you know, with modulars. Uh, your CV inputs are very varied, but um, in the manual it actually suggests, you know, using everything from slow LFOs to envelopes. Uh, random signals are also good. Uh, sample and hold modules, uh, really any other type of CV that you have, uh, even some of the other modules that might be out there, like ribbon controllers or joysticks or you know anything like that, can also uh, be fed into the CV input here of the A125. Um, immediately below that is going to be a dial with RES uh, right next to it. That's going to be our resonance control which is going to allow us to control the depth of the signal cancellation. Um, as we're going through the demonstration, this will kind of uh, sort of sink in a little bit more. Um, overall, it's going to allow you to control the color of your sound, or tone as it's called. Um, finally, down at the bottom, our last sort of row here, uh, is going to be the audio out, which is obviously going to allow you to pipe it out to a mixer, or if you want to send it out to another module, you can do that as well. Um, the mix control here is going to allow you to control the balance of the original and the phase shifted signal. Uh, all the way at zero, only your phased signal will pass, while all the way over at 10, on the far end, uh, you get a 50-50 mix, of your original and your phase signal. And then of course you have all the values in between of course where you can kind of pick and choose what you like. Um, that's gonna about sort of finish it off for the basics. Um, in the next video what we'll be doing is sort of looking at an audio demonstration uh, with maybe one or two audio sources, uh, hearing them and then also, I think it might be important to kind of look at some oscilloscope views of what this is actually doing to our signal, just to get a better idea of uh, how it's being affected. So I hope that you found this useful um, and hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.